now the first thing we are going to do is to click on our text again move forward in time so i can see our text appearing on the screen click on it and go to this edit test <laughs> and now here in this place when we selected our font you click on it you see this place you click view all fonts and now what we do is to click on this hamburger menu and now we are going to see all of this now this is where you actually import all your fonts i will be there's kind of a short font that i've created you know, exercise file for you to use in practice so you click on this and now we're just we're just going to look at where our font is i'm using redmi and that's it there and you have created it in your allied portion and now here is font this actually contains all my fonts but in yours it's not going to contain all double click and now we have all the fonts now, if you select this, you can select as much as you can. But just you just you just selecting one after the other. But what you can do is to click on this and say, "Hey, I want you to select all." In case you want to select all of them, and add to your folder ones. Now, immediately you click on this and say, "Hey, select everything that you've selected is going to move into your into your light motion." But I've already done that. I don't know if I should add this. It's going to appear twice. But let me just click on it that would be risky okay let me just try i don't know let me try that out let me just wait for for some seconds and now all that you've imported now are now in your timeline they actually didn't duplicate that's cool they really didn't duplicate so that's it and one thing you'll notice is when you click this you can see this is selected imported and now I can say, hey, I want all the ones that are like display, title display, and all these are just going to show. Now I want all the serifs. I don't want this. You can select. And all the serifs. Serifs are fonts that kind of have some kind of cut out edges. Some people call it, um, I've forgotten the name, but there's a name for it. And we have some serif with it, which don't actually have the those edges you can see they are clean cut edge they don't have those extra corners and now you can see you can select even more than one you can say hey i want the sun serifs and i want the display and now it's going to show all the sun serifs it's just a way of filtering your font so that you can easily locate the one that you want to use in your project so that is this that is that and one thing you can also do say do is that hey one of the serifs for instance i can see there are some that has stars now some of them are not actually imported there are some that the ally motion have created that you can actually download now if i should turn on data connection let me do that now you can say hey some fonts are all are not available because there is no network connection mm -hmm. now if the fonts that are that are here are for example let me click on this Oh, this is from a light motion. It's going to say, hey, you don't have data connection, therefore you can't download this. But if my data should be on, for instance, if I should turn it on, and I click on it again, it's going to load and download it for me. And now that is downloaded and downloaded forever. You don't need to re-download it again next time you want to use it. The only problem you might notice, you might face, is that when you've already downloaded it, you will have to, for example, if you scroll down and looking for that font to download, you have to scroll down to where it is in order to download it again. But there is a way you can shortcut it so that it can be stored somewhere that you can easily look at. And that is, you just add it to favorite. Okay, this is the one we downloaded before. You just add to favorite. And now when you come here, let's, let's select this first. When you come here, say I want to select another font. You see, you're just now another section which has to do with favorite. You can select as many as you can here, and this just shows the ones that you recently used. This one's here, but from here onward, I just go with a little favorite. So that is that. That is how you import, import font into Align Motion. Now, see you in the next 